In this video, we'll discuss what it means for a set of vectors to be linearly independent. We have discussed the homogeneous equation where ax equals 0. a is a matrix, x is a vector, and 0 is, of course, the 0 vector. This equation always has the solution where x equals the 0 vector. Any matrix times the 0 vector will equal the 0 vector. But it will often have other solutions depending on the structure of the matrix A. We can instead think of that matrix equation as a vector equation, x1 times v1 plus x2 times v2 plus and so on plus xp times vp equals the zero vector. Here the xi's are the actual entries of the vector x and the v's are the columns of the matrix A. So given a set of vectors v1, v2 and so on, which might be coming from the columns of a matrix but might be coming from somewhere else, we say that that set is linearly independent if the vector equation that we just talked about has only the trivial solution where the x's all equal 0. Certainly that is a solution. If we look at all of the x's equaling 0, 0 times v1 plus 0 times v2 and so on, 0 times all these vectors will give us one big 0 vector. But again that vector equation might have non-trivial solutions and in that case where the vector equation has non-trivial solutions we said that, that set of vectors is linearly dependent. So to summarize, a set of vectors is always either linearly independent or linearly dependent, and that depends on that vector equation. When that vector equation has non-trivial solutions, we say that the set of vectors is linearly dependent. When the vector equation only has the trivial solution, we say that the set of vectors is linearly independent. So let's look at an example. Let's let v1 be the vector 1, 2, 3, v2 be 4, 5, 6, and v3 be the vector 7, 8, 9. So put those three vectors into a set, and let's determine whether that set v1, v2, v3 is linearly independent. So that means that we must determine the solutions of this vector equation. x1 times the first vector plus x2 times the second vector plus x3 times the third vector equals the zero vector. We set up our associated augmented matrix, and we row reduce it. When we row reduce it, we get something like this. And what we notice is that the third column of this matrix does not have a pivot. There's no pivot in that third column. And that means that in our original vector equation, x3 is a free variable. Since we have a free variable, that tells us that our homogeneous equation has many solutions. In fact, one solution for each value of x3. So that tells us that the set of vectors we were looking at is not linearly independent. In fact, it's linearly dependent. So every example we might do is going to look like this. We set up our augmented matrix, we row reduce it, and we use that row reduced matrix to determine whether that homogeneous equation has any non-trivial solutions. If it has any non-trivial solutions, the set of vectors is linearly dependent. If it only has the trivial solution, then the set of vectors is linearly independent.